SEC Chairman Gary Gensler continued threats to end payment for order flow might not be as big of a blow to Robinhood's business as many investors feared. Mizuho reiterated its buy rating on the stock after the firm surveyed users and asked if they'd be willing to pay a small fee to trade on Robinhood's platform. Only 10% said they were unlikely to stay on the platform, which Mizuho says represents better than feared customer loyalty. Meantime, Citadel founder Ken Griffin said he'd be quite fine with ending payment for order flow in a talk at the Economic Club of New York. Shares of Robinhood up about 2% today. Broader fintech uh, had, a, had a weak day yesterday, of course. Uh, well, what's your take on, on this, uh, this name, Eugene, and uh, fintech in general, if it's a good time to get in? I think fintech, it is a good time to be invested. I'm not, I wouldn't buy Robinhood um, in my client portfolios because it's too expensive at 20 plus times enterprise value sales. Um, however, um, I would agree that payment for order flow goes away. Um, that's not a death knell for that, that company. I think that um, customer engagement is probably a, a bigger risk. If we start um, seeing the stock market sell off and people losing interest, retail investors losing interest, um, the number of trades will go down. But um, I much prefer Square um, because they have um, uh, that cash app and uh, a little bit more diversified business. Um, and I think their valuations are pretty similar. So um, Hood, a good speculative play, but um, for my portfolios, I would go with Square. Put up 2.5% today. Maybe on that, but also Bitcoin above 50,000. Yeah. I wonder how correlated those two are as this becomes a bigger part of Robinhood's business. and. A much bigger part of the growth. Yes, um, it has traded in sync with it. Although Robinhood is well below its highs, you know, it had that one huge spike higher. It's interesting the way this, the, the, the survey taking the temperature of the customer base because the initial question was if Robinhood started to charge a small fee to trade. And it was like a quarter of the people said that they wouldn't use it. But then they said, well, what about if everybody else also charged a fee? In other right. words, if, if not. And that's complicated because one of the firms they said they would switch to these customers is, is Fidelity. Fidelity, which doesn't take payment for order flow, does have zero commissions right now. They don't take it on, um, on stock transactions from a third party. Let's put it that way. Um, presumably, they would keep at zero. My point being, maybe there's not as much loyalty and they do like ease of use and all the rest of it. I also don't think payment for order flow is entirely going to go away. Uh, I think that it's a little bit of a of a stalking horse issue by Gary Gensler. He wants to re reform market structure, but there's always a bid ask spread. How that gets allocated to the broker and everybody else is, is an open question, but there's going to be a spread.